Hi, welcome to my machine here. I booted up Linux Mint 18.3 Cinnamon, did all my updates, and I'm here to tell you that we have updated Arc Team Colora. What's that? Arc Team Colora is in here. It's uh, a GitHub, and on this GitHub, we are uh, giving you eight scripts, and in this, with these eight scripts, you can make any Arc Theme change you mean you know the github from horst 3180 he has his own uh, github for the arc theme and the arc theme is a blue theme like so and you can install it and that's great it's super great so what we do is we we work upon the knowledge of horst who has still many issues to solve because of all the changes in GTK and so on. So we trust he knows what he's doing. And the only thing we do is change the blue accent color into any color we want. And I really mean any color we want. So that means if you just start typing, I've already a number here. If you just type a hexade hexadecimal number, then you can just use your slider and no aya. Ah, that's that kind of color. So if you decide to go all orange on me, then you do something like that or a little bit more and you choose the color you want to have because this is for instance a red theme so this is this accent here all around also in any of the applications red red settings and all that they will use the theme the arc theme is providing with these little icons okay so what if we want to change color and we want some other kind of color like this one? So can we change then the arc theme to this orange rather than the blue? We can. So Control C and let's keep it here. What do we need to do? Well, it is simply numbered. So one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. That's probably what you need to do. So you go to this thing and I rather learn you how to git clone than to zip because zipping is okay, but git clone is, is, is also interesting for you to start to learn git because it's very powerful. You go to your desktop for instance, and you say, okay, let's, let's try this out. You take your terminal and then you say git clone control shift V, enter. Everything that was on there on the net is now in here on your system. So that's this thing here. Okay, let's move this here, like so. And do you see the red line, the rubber line? That's all arc theme. So we go in here and we open a terminal and we move back in here, like so. Now we're gonna talk about the left part and in the meantime, we're gonna run things. So first is installation one, meaning install me all the software that I need. And I check in this script where I am. Am I on Ubuntu, am I on Linux Mint, am I on Arch Linux, am I on Arch Merge, am I on, on Tergos, am I on Solos, all these things are checked. And then he knows he's on uh, Linux Mint and he does his thing. I'm gonna fix my background in the meanwhile. So he says autoconf is already the newest version, etc, etc, etc. Everything is already new, everything is updated, zero upgrade, zero newly installed, and so on. Fine. What else did he do? He got the GitHub from Horst. This is the work from Horst. This folder is all him. What we're gonna do is we're gonna change the contents of that folder and specifically this folder because this is actually what you might recognize an index team and an index team dark index team darker so it's these things that you need to become and to have a theme so that's what we're gonna change one level up we've done just uh, we've installed this thing here so display we can open this and you can start reading it in big words or big lines these things will check um, if lsb underscore release is installed if not install it so i can know what release what distro it is 
And if it is Linux Mint, then you do these kind of software installations. If it is Arch and Arch Verge, these kind. And if it is Solos, still to be checked later on, then it's going to install that. It's going to remove some stuff and to start to clean up. And then we get the, the Git clone, so get everything done. And then we are also making uh, Horst's Arc theme compatible with Openbox because it's not right now. But you may know that I have uh, started with a new distro uh, called Arch Merge, and we need the open box because we have three uh, desktops there XFCE, open box, and i3. So that's why it's in there. You don't need it for Cinnamon, but it has it's one folder, 10 files, doesn't matter. So we have that. Then we have step two, and step two I cannot run yet. You can run it, and all you'll get is this red uh, uh, theme. I'm not sure if I have already Atom installed. Let's see if I can have Atom. So, other application, Atom, set as default, OK. Why am I using Atom? Show welcome, done, done, and done. Because I want to show you the colors, and if you install packages in Atom, you can install pigments, and I want also minimap. So install, 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 install. Then you wait for the pop-up to come here. One, two, three. Yes. That's that. That's out of the way. And now we see colors. You see that this is red. So if you don't change it, you'll change the blue into a red version. That's ideal for my testing. It shows up that nothing is blue anymore and that everything is red. So that's a good idea to test. But I already made a red one. As you can see, everything is already red. So let's do something else. We have here a color. We decided to have this color. Why not this color? So Control C gonna be an orange like color and we're gonna copy paste it here without the hashtag and here you can say okay we're gonna use so now we're gonna use this color so it shows up so it used to be this one and we're gonna use that one don't forget to delete the hashtag so now we can save and now we can run it what it's going to do is going to uh, replace everything that's blue, as you see here, blue, 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 but the variant of blue is almost green already. So all the things that were bugging me when I started using XFCE, Mate, Cinnamon, uh, Gnome, uh, things that popped up to say, hey, no, I don't want that blue here, but it was not blue, blue, but it was something green. I changed it to into the red color or this orange color, the new color. So that's what's going on here. Fixing every instance of blue. The same applies here, but this is RGBA, meaning this works with transparency. We have to make a big function here to get from, from uh, well, what is it again, hexadecimal to decimal and so on. Okay, so it's just a fix to get from also some kind of blue to in this case our orange some kind of blue back to orange and that's what we're gonna do all the way in all the folders so in the, all the elements of the folder and which folder is it uh, if we go and check it's gonna be in common everything that's in here will have a change will go through a change everything that's blue it's gonna be orange because we decided not to go for red but to go for orange Okay, long speech, but an important speech. Um, and even though um, it was a long speech, I even have to make it a little bit longer. Why? Because um, this one. Yes, Ali, good. This one, these are all lines and all colors. So if, 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 if you are on a system and you say, hey, he forgot a blue element, all you have to do now, and that's why the rewrite of the script, all you have to do is 
copy paste figure out what line of code it is that you need to change and you change the colors and now it was the a not the b up changed so the a is very similar than the b but for the computer it's a completely different color so that's how you fix it by yourself you don't need me anymore if you find something a color that's not to your liking add the code Control z let's delete this again same goes for down here so if you say there is a color uh, rrgb a color then that you don't like then again Control v copy paste change these numbers here to what uh, what you want to change and then it will change into what we are what you decide so in our case orange so that again that's quite important that's an improvement i hope for the script and if you have um well, if you can help me improve the script, if you say, look, I'm on this and this distro, and if you change this color, everything will be super 100% perfect. I will add it to the scripts. So it will be fix number eight or nine or something. So we counting our fixes here. Okay, done. Let's go and make it. So last thing was number one. Before I let's run the script, I show you what we have now and see and look at these whoa that's very big indeed look at these blue colors okay and now I'm gonna write everything is going to be checked everywhere you see already the orange popping up here and here but everything for every fix fix one two three four everything will be checked in this dot uh, not dot but this common folder and it's done and this is the result everything is now orange that's our script all right next up is you can follow the website of course so the next script wants to delete everything all CSS files have been changed but PNG files have not been changed let me show let's make it smaller assets these are all PNG files, the standard blue ones, which is great, but we do not want the blue ones, so we need to delete them. And that's what script number three is going to do. So installation three, look at the left, gone. Okay, back up, back up. Installation number four, what's he going to do? Installation four, he's going to make all the new PNGs. So if we delete something, you will need to make something from this source. And I'm not using my own script. I'm using the script from Horst. So I'm following his workflow as much as I can. And he's making now from this SVG, these files. Everything in orange. Now at the top of the script, I said, go get a coffee because this will take a while he's going to make it for gtk2 but he's going to make it for gtk3 14 16 18 and 20. so all these thousands and thousands of well images or uh, pictures or pngs will be created so let's pause the video a bit okay the script has finished as you can see the last of the icons have been created so in here everything is now orange great next up one level up next up if this was script number four we're going to install script number five it says this is the actual creation of your theme and it's going to create the theme but it's going to be following the workflow of Horst. So it's going to be created, but it's going to be created here in user, share, and it's going to be arc and arc dark and arc darker. So it's in here and we could check it if we want to go to the assets. It's indeed not the blue one. Check. All right. So the scripts, the workflow from, from Horst changes the user share themes, what it says here. All right, then 
we need a script to change the name and to move it, to copy it actually, to copy. So what should we name this thing? I don't really know what name this actually is, um, but often I'll do this, Control Alt T, I have this GPIC application, this one, and I go here and I move to this thing and I just use the name that's in here. So, lightning. Maybe we should take lightning. How about that? No? So, we need some creative way to say, okay, this color is a banana color, so I'll call it Park Banana. All right, but lightning sounds better to me. <laughs> lightning, okay. So everything we could be called now arc lightning, arc lightning dark, arc lightning darker. That's what's going to happen. And oops, why did I do not did I did go did I not go to here? So here it is already. So these three have been added. Arc lightning, arc lightning dark, and so on. And yes, indeed, of course, these things are orange. That was the whole point. So we have three new themes to select that's what's happened now the rest is just cleaning up but uh, cleaning up can be important so these orange thing in user share themes are now deleted that's gone removing your personal arc theme and if, of course if you do want to have your blue arc theme back again you have to install installation 8 here and it's going to rebuild completely from the latest version online and you see what he's going to do and you see some information from time to time building GNOME for GNOME 3.18 that's what he's doing finally finally we can go and check it out so scripts have been we ran all scripts let's say it like that and I'm gonna look for Arc Lightning Dark because that is always my favorite the dark version but of course I'll show you there is also an arc lightning dark oh, no that's okay and here as well arc you see the orange color already arc arc lightning dark that one so this one is orange that element is orange this up here is orange these things are all orange so everything has now been changed to arc lightning but like i said there is also an arc yeah i think it's this one that's the best one to show you so arc lightning is going to be a white one a bit too bright for my eyes but hey it's your choice and there is also this one i guess and of course you have to change all these elements as well arc lightning and everything starts to be very white if you then close this up and reopen it he knows what to do so there you have it a very wide system you have three uh, elements three things you've changed uh, three themes you've created so i'm rather go back to my dark version much better for my eyes but it's a choice and it's up to you to choose it so it's in here and you can uh, choose it from there. Um, I think that's it. Um, best thing is of course if you build something and it's your personal thing, put it aside, put it on the Dropbox, on OneDrive, put it away so you can reuse it again later if you are reinstalling your Linux Mint system. Alright, enjoy! <laughs>